Hi, I'm Nail. And I'm Ralph. We're indie game devs who make heavy use of jiggle physics. What's this? This is other solution A that I found. How does it look? The jiggles could be better. How's performance? Um, not good. Maybe we could develop our own in-house solution that's faster? Most solutions calculate drag in world space, making the entire solve react to velocity instead of acceleration. Video game platforms and vehicles immediately show the flaw in this design. To solve this, we use a novel approach that decouples air drag and mechanical drag, allowing it to act as expected. Elevators are another common situation where velocity-based simulations look wrong. You can see that instead of floating away, our solution properly gets pushed to the floor as the elevator comes to a stop, as happens in real elevators. It's a lot of math, though. That could cost a lot of performance. Not if we integrate it with the Unity's job system. Unity Jobs allows jiggle physics to run asynchronously and within native code. This gives it a huge speed boost. But it comes with the trade-off in initialization time. Jiggle physics mitigates a lot of this cost by trickling the data frame by frame, causing there to be a short delay before jiggles start working when an object gets spawned in. We preferred the delay over causing the game to hitch. We spent a lot of time removing jitter from the system. The interplay between fixed update, update, and the Unity animator makes it really easy to get buried under layers and layers of jitter sources. Have you heard that all computer problems are either a signal processing or cache invalidation problem? Anyway, we introduced a small delay and light signal processing on both the input and output data, which largely eliminated most of the jitter. Here we have a ragdoll, updated by physics, and a skinned mesh renderer, updated by the animator, steadily accelerating to high speed. These systems work quite differently under the hood, and they both need to work seamlessly. Multithreading also made basic features like animated parameters a challenge, as they need to be supplied carefully to the job system. Despite that, we did put in effort, and you can see that we respond to parameter changes from an animator. OneSolve doesn't even allow this at all. We also support standard features like scaling jiggled parts at runtime. Yeah, most systems handle this well. We found it very important as video game characters often need to be reproportioned or scaled. <clears throat> All three solutions are uh, pretty good at breast physics and colliders. We made sure that specifically scene colliders and personal colliders are supported. <laughs> scene colliders are pretty well optimized too, so you can have as many in the scene as you want without worrying too much about performance. This would not have been possible without sponsorships from Basis VR, Jinxie, and SideQuest. Thank you. Jiggle Physics is available for free on GitHub under the MIT license. Feel free to use it, and we would love to know if you do. Bye! Bye.